Okay, sorry about that. I had to blip in the recording. It just stopped doing it. So, we're back now. Uh, as I was saying, uh, that was a 3 for 1 and it was completely my fault. I got out of position and then they came to save me and unfortunately both died. So I feel quite bad about that. But, it's fine. They've not... They're still behind us for kills. We're still ahead in gold. Towers are even. And, yeah, it's, it's going alright. Nothing too bad is happening yet. So, we have... Luck throwing the ult just to do some farm, got one creep from it, so it wasn't that successful. I really jumped in on the Maokoi. Throwing everything they've got at him. There goes the Aurelia ult and the Ignite. Oh, but the defense, is he going to die? One more Aurelia ult and the Ignite finishes him off. We have Pantheon and Hecarim. Hecarim uses his ult just as a little bit of a defense, not sure if Lux is going to get jumped on. It wasn't a bad move, wasn't a great move, but it's better for him to survive. Here, Pantheon jumps in. Jump onto Twisted again. Twisted is getting just beaten on this game. He's ulting out. The Caitlyn ult follows, but the block from Lux keeps him alive. Just put Lux, Aurelia, and Twisted all on low health. This is not a good fight for us. I managed to push off Brand and Caitlyn, but Panting is just jumping on Lux, Twisted, Aurelia. They just have, can't do anything. I'm fighting the two carry, the man to kill brand, managing to hold my own against Caitlyn. I noticed that Pantheon's got a double kill and that he now he's coming for the triple. And he kills me as well, which is very frustrating since I managed to push off the two carries. But Pantheon is huge at this point and he's a very scary, scary character. So Bombing's being pushed up by minions, Malquay is going to stop that. T top is being pushed up for us, unfortunately. Their minions are stomping through ours. Minions doing some damage to bottom. Malco is just going to stop that though, unfortunately. Yeah. Aurelia is pushing up mid, defending that turret. We're all up in 20 seconds. Lux twisting the Aurelia already back. Hecarim's up in 3, and I'm up in 10. So, we'll be able to fight soon. Oh, they're all up soon in the next fight, including all of theirs, except for Pantheon's might not be up, but I'm guessing they will just delay the fight until Pantheon's ult is up. Yep, Twist and Hecarims are coming off called end though as well. So Aurelia is now taking our res, just so she has a little bit more thing. That should probably go Twisted, but I don't think he needs it because of the red card. And the extra magic damage he has in stack deck. Um, he's just trying to get some poke off on Pantheon, but Pantheon's very good at just duking away from it. I throw in a Q, get some nice chunk damage off on Pantheon. I want to go in on this, but I don't know if we can. We're getting some nice poke off. There's Brandon Caitlin. There's another Q, trying to hit as many of them as possible. I think this is where I'm asking Chris whether he's prepared to ult in. He's getting ready for it. He's, well, he's trying to group us all together. And here it comes. I block that stun on him so he doesn't get stunned. Here it comes. I do believe he's ready. No, is this not the part? They're all grouped up. It would be a perfect ult. Here it comes. No, getting some life steal off just there. Helping. And the ult goes off, clearing them all in different directions. Unfortunately, he dies very quickly. But we kill Brand crazy quick as well. We get the Pantheon. Malkoi is falling very quickly. Caitlyn is very squishy, so we can take here. So unfortunately for Chris dying so quickly, it was a great initiation on his part. And it gets us a triple kill for his death, which is very good. And me and Lux are still on very high health. Aurelia's not on bad. Twisted's farming to get some life steal up. Look at the chunking we're doing to Caitlyn. I jump on her, I cue her, and she just dies. There's no time for her to even respond to my jump. Hecarim managed to ult away in that fight, so he didn't get to be the ace. So now he's back to defend, but he's solo for the next five seconds. Sorry guys, another blip in the recording there. As I was saying, um, me and Aurelia weren't ranged and Lux is very low AD, so we couldn't poke that turret down because Hecarim was there to defend it, even though he was alone. Pantheon is back up now, his ultimate is also up. Twisted is just cycling between those wild cards, just for the fun of it, I guess. Um, yeah, didn't want to pick him one. Aurelia's farming their jungle. I've gone back, Lux has gone back, so Twisted is just defending top and Hecarim's doing a little bit of farming himself in our jungle. So that team fight went very well. Brand died very quickly to the Luxol and a bit of focus from Hecarim. 
Oh, there goes the Pantheon going in for Twisted, but Twisted flashes and gets out. So Hecarim is cycling top, Pantheon is cycling down, they don't meet in the woods just... Yes, they do meet, Hecarim jumps on him and takes his farm like a troll. But Hecarim is taking some very big trunk damage and gets a big creep. Aurelia is coming in for backup from behind. Is she going to jump to him? Mm, she shouldn't. Because does. Yeah, good. She falls off. Because there was reinforcements coming from him, his team. So it's now going to be a 3v3. But I find Maokoi again. I don't know why Maokoi is fighting here. He died to me the last time very quickly. He's going to die to me again. Jewel disconnects here, which isn't exactly great for us. Uh, he does come back. He's been cut out for a while. Um, and Maokoi is dead. So we've got 20 minutes left in the game. We're winning for kills, we're winning for turrets, we're winning for money, and it's looking great for us. They've got a fed pantheon going 15 to 6, though, which we do not have, unfortunately. This box is now reconnected. And he is back into the action. They are now pushing mid. They found Aurelia. They want to kill her. They're going to kill her. She's just melting so quickly. The brand stun misses, but the Hecarim ult goes off. And there's the Luxor just for some support, if possible. It's a very short cooldown night. It's something like 40 seconds, 30 seconds maybe. So This is where I made a mistake. Um, I walked past Dragon from bottom, hearing the Dragon going off. Just thought nothing of it. And then went back to look. She'd already seen me and pinged for her allies to come and help. So I was out of position and I tried to fight her knowing that her allies had just been mid. Even though... Yeah, I could have killed her if they weren't, unfortunately. So now two of us are down, all five of them are up. Lux has got vision of Hecarim. And Brand, so she knows they're there. Pantheon is hiding just a bit back, so she doesn't know he's there. Malkoi's going top for some farm. <laughs> Twisted ult goes off, so he knows exactly where they all are now. He knows where they're hiding, if they're hiding. He knows they're going for blue. He's going to try and contest it. He just dies so quickly though. I don't think he can. But the Lux Salt gets it! The Lux Salt gets it. It was very well played. So Brand did not get his blue. Which is going to annoy him since he wasted a ton of abilities on it. So we just have a little bit of stalemate here. Trying to farm up a bit. We want to get some ne big items before we get the next fight, just because last time it went well, but Pantheon is still huge. We had Pantheon out of position, and uh, managed to focus him down last time, which was good, but we might not be so lucky this time. Uh, pinging Malkoi to fall back before he gets caught out. <laughs> He's walking back down River now. <laughs> I do. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> um... My, uh, I'm chunking Pantheon for some nice damage, but he's also chunking me and has the block, so I can't take him 1v1. We ping to go down for Brand. Lux just pushes up the lane a little bit with the ult. Gets Pantheon quite low, actually. She also chunks him for some nice damage. Brand's going to get caught out of position here. We're going to get him. We're going to jump onto him. And recall goes off. Unfortunately, we don't quite get to him before the recall hits. If I'd have thrown my Q in, we would have, but I didn't want to throw it in, just in case. Aurelia is getting out of position. We, me and Hecarim are getting out of position. Hecarim is in the middle of the river, he could have jumped on either of us there. Excuse me. We'll try and take a turret here, but we're both melee and he jumps on us. We're out of position, there's the jump, I'm heavily out of position, Caitlyn's there, Caitlyn's dying very quickly, Hecarim ult goes off, Caitlyn ult gets disrupted apparently, Twisted's chunking him down, the Lux stun goes out, some more Qs, some more poke, we're just poking everyone down, Aurelia is full health, she's diving in for us, she's tanking it, she's dropping quite quickly, the Brand ult goes off and does some amazing damage and almost kills three of us, we're still pushing though, we kill Malko, he's the first casualty, Caitlyn was the first casualty, actually. But the, the rest of their team are all very low. Me and Hecarim and Twisted were all very... No. 
Lux. Lux gets the kill on Panthe, and this is a 3 for 0 so far. Twisted finds a Hecarim in the jungle. 4 for what? 4 for 0. And the wild cards, and Bran decides to not even attempt it. It's not worth it. We take a turret. And we'll probably go take another turret here. That is a very good fight for us again. We managed to burst them down. We were tanky. Me, Hecarim, and Aurelia can all tank up. Uh, they have Pantheon, Malkoi, and Hecarim to tank up. But there, Caitlyn and Bran die quicker than our Twisted and Lux. So we're now ahead by three turrets. Ahead by... Oof, what, a couple of thousand gold. Almost 10,000 gold now. I say 8,000 is it? I can't do math off the top of my head. Lux is wanting to follow up here, but we're all pretty low. We can't follow up. We need to pull back. The defense from Lux blocking the ult again. And the shield just to negate as much damage as possible. Oh, Lux ult goes off and gets Caitlyn crazy low. Just doing some farming in their jungle before we fall back. Pantheon is Heartseeker Strike in. He's here. He knows. He wants us. He can smell us. There's the ult, and we don't even give him a chance to respond to that. We all just jump on him and just die so quickly. We're just throwing everything we got at him. It's another kill. He ults away, and I think we back off here. Yeah. Oh no, I follow back in because I'm stupid. Um, I find three of them. I managed to chunk Caitlyn for almost half a health in one ability. We're continuing the push. Probably isn't the best idea, but we're continuing the push. Twisted's pushing onto Malkoi. Twisted is killing Malkoi very quickly. Stun goes off. A trap. A Q goes off from me. Misses everything. We're sort of just staying on it there. They're poking at us. We're poking at them. It's who's got the better poke. And that's the fullback ping. Channel unclefilled. Ignore that chat one for kill thing. Just been sending me a message on Rumble. Sorry about that. So we decided to finally fall back, which was a probably a good idea. Our top turret's being pushed, we're all very low health. Not on the highest manner either. There's very little we can do. They're planning on going for a Baron here, I do believe. Hunter is ulting in and ulting down on Baron to initiate onto it to get some good damage. Uh, I don't think we have wards of it. No, no wards. So we have no idea they're doing it. We're just casually farming. Not thinking they're strong enough to do it. We've got a 10 kill lead. But they kill it. And they come out of the jungle and they're now even scarier. The fact that Pantheon is now very difficult to kill is going to be very threatening to us. Brand is taking their blue, then I'm heading down to Dragon and taking that as well. This is giving them time to catch up on their gold. This disadvantage. They're only 6,000 gold behind now, which isn't really that much for us having 10 kills ahead and f 3 turrets ahead. Here I get caught out of position. Not a great place to fight, unfortunately. Now she chucks down Brand very quickly. Aurelia dies quicker, but she's got the good GA up. She's got that GA up. And the Hecrimol goes off into the Lux Salt. Stops from doing anything. I managed to kill Brand whilst I was down there. Lux is now being targeted on. Pantheon is very low. I thought they'd killed more than they had and die very quickly. I was very surprised that they hadn't killed anybody in that fight. So it was a 3 for 1. 